These are the first two invitations calling forth the tablet of spirit in the system of Dr. D. and Mr. Edward Kelly. C. Equinox, Volume 1, Number 7, and Number 8.
Can the wings of the winds understand your voices of wonder? O ye, the second of the first, whom the burning flames have framed in the depths of my jaws, whom I have prepared as cup for a wedding, all the flowers in their beauty for the chamber of righteousness, Stronger are your feet to the barren stone, and the mightier are your voices in the manifold wind. For you are become a such as is not, save in the mind of the all-powerful. Your hell is full of roses from the two fallen we dog. The sorcerer's enchanting from the paladin in France. In the starlight as we wove us in a web of silk and steel. In memorial as the marble in the halls of Boabdil. In the presence of the roses, the fountains and the hues. Where the snowy sierra soothed us with the breezes and the dews. In the starlight as we trembled from a laugh to a caress. And the God came warm upon us in our pagan allegress. Was the ballad la bonne or too seductive? Did you feel through the silence and the softness all the tension of the steel? Your hair was full of roses, and my flesh was full of thorns, and the midnight came upon us. Worth a million crazy mourns. Ah, oh, my gypsy, my gitana, my Celia, where you fade for the dance to turn to earnest. Oh, a sunny land in Spain. My gitana, my Celia, more delicious than a dove, with your hair aflame with roses and your lips a light love. Shall I see you? Shall I kiss you once again? I wander far from the sunny land of summer to the icy polar star. I shall find you. I shall have you. I am coming back again from the filth and fog to seek you in the sunny land of Spain. I shall find you, my Celia. As a rose with your hair flame with roses and your body gay with gold. I shall find you, I shall have you in the summer and the south, with our passion in your body and our love in your mouth. With our wonder and our worship be the world of flame of you. My Gitana, my Celia, I am coming back to you. The pentagram dedicated to Henry Foreman. In the years of the primal course, in the dawn of terrestrial birth, man mastered the mammoth and horse, and man was the lord of the earth. He made him in hollow skin from the heart of an holy tree. He compassed the earth therein, and man was the lord of the sea. He controlled the vigorous steam, he harnessed the lightning for hire. He drove the celestial team, and man was the lord of the fire. Deep mouthed from their thrones, deep seated, the choirs of the eons declare the last of the demons defeated. For man is the lord of the air. Arise, O man, in thy strength, the kingdom is thine to inherit, till the high gods witness at length that man is the lord of his spirit. One song for a woman. The world for a hall, the sky for a harlot. All life with your door for a woman of solid. The bitter exchange, the bad bargain strike. It may seem to you strange. The fact is, I like it. 
Waterly gold plate found sail to have to hold in exhaustible pressure. I'd give it even more in this planet of sport that was preserved so far in this proud world. Dedicated, ladies and gentlemen, and Sir Malcolm Hilbert. The poet, bury me in a nameless grave. I came from God, the world to save. I brought them wisdom from above, worship and liberty and love. They slew me, for I did disparage therefore religion, law, and marriage. So be my grave without a name, that earth may swallow up my shame. Three hymns for man. At sea, as night hath stars more rare than ships in ocean, faint from pole to pole, so all the wonder of her lips hints her innavigable soul. Such light she gives as guide my bark. But I am swallowed in the swell of her heart's ocean, sagely dark, that holds my heaven and holds my hell. In her I live and moot my new dancing moment in the sun. In her I die, a sterile shoot of night trade in oblivion. In her myself dissolves, a grain of salt cast careless in the sea. My passion purifies my pain to peace past personality. Love of my life, God grant the years, confirm the chrism, rose to rude. Anointing love, aspurging tears in the sanctifying solitude. Man is so infinitely small in all these stars, determinate. Maker and the molder of them all, man is so infinitely great. My fingernails draw on my fingers, and my fingers are fixed firmly to my hand. It is my hand that terminates my arm, and that sticks to my shoulder like a chalk. My shoulder is a portion of my trust. I hope no prostitute, however drunk, would end the shocking sequence. Yet we find, even in England, men of evil mind, pornographers who love obscene details, shameless enough to mention fingernails. The Titanic. All flash, the serpent, the steel, and some of of man's delight. Down the crash of an immobile and brainless barrier of life. Hurry. The grey god shoots the laughing lips. Let not faith founder with the ship. We reel before the blows of fate. Our stout souls stagger at the shock. Oh, there is something ultimate, big fast of the living rock. Courage, catastrophe beyond relief, harden our hearts to fear and grief. The gods upon the titans shower their high intolerable. Dawn, but no God knoweth in what hour a new Prometheus may be born. Hurry! Man of his doom goes driving down. 
A crown of thorns is still a crown. No power of nature shall withstand the last the spirit of mankind. It is not built upon the sand. It is not watchful to the wise. Courage, disaster, and destruction tend to taller triumphs in the end.
Give all your people joy, grace of life, through thou, you be thou ever already down by the hands of my youth in thine office of gladness. Oh, oh. Oh! 